you can upgrade your engine by getting oversized liners yes bigger pistons okay fitting on the same block hello folks welcome to the next cruiser cars the van again the westphalia this is a 1982 air cooled the engine yeah it's finally uh Need some work, so it's going to go into an air-cooled mechanic for a while and try and probably get a rebuild. It needs a leak down test and determine what's wrong with the engine and then rebuild it. Get the towed to the mechanic. You always want to flatbed these because it's rear engine, rear wheel drive. All right, I'm sitting here in my Golf R right now, but I actually have just driven to a mechanic and this is where the uh the vanigan got towed and we'll talk about the engine in the vanigan and what it needs so it's had a leak down test done i just got a bit of a preliminary report over the phone of what it needs uh it's pretty much what i thought um you know a, a cylinder or two is low in compression so we'll talk to the mechanic now and see what he thinks is the next best steps I chose this place because of word of mouth that the mechanic who owns and operates this, this business is really good with the old Volkswagens. He used to be an old VW tech. He knows buses and vanigans and these air-cooled engines. So let's go talk to him and see what he thinks is the best next steps for this engine. So I haven't actually met him yet. Let's go see what it's like. So a wet compression and a dry compression. And on the wet, it improved, one cylinder improved it, it, a bit? It improved a bit. Okay, it went up to 90 versus 70 or 60 yes. without it? Okay. Okay, so now. Most of the oil that is around here is coming yes. up from here, which is yeah. the river. Came up to the crankcase vent, yeah. Basically, positive crankcase ventilation. There is an oil cooler that you get uh, that's right behind under this. Underneath? This on, oh, oh, okay. Uh, it's basically it just it's a little tube that just allows the oil to cool. Okay. Okay. Pull out the breather. Yes. Okay. It's, there's a bit of blowback. From a bit, I thought there was a lot. Yeah, well, yeah. you haven't. There's yeah. a blowback. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, this oil up top here, that's yeah. fairly new. And when I noticed that I lost power, I opened it up and there was oil all over. Okay. So, other than that, there isn't very much to it. You order all these new hoses. Okay. Right. Uh, mainly because they're aged. They're like yeah, the hoses. Coming out. Yeah. And there yeah, is a bit of fatigue. Like, all this is cracked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, these are not expensive to begin with. Mm -hmm. Okay, but like Volkswagen used to sell these by meter. You buy them by a roll. The hose? Come, yeah, all oh. the hoses, yeah. all the vacuum hoses, yeah. you replace it. Even now for the new Passats, they all crack. Get new ones, you put it on, you'll get your full, you'll find your vacuum advance working. Because this works with the vacuum advance, it works with the vacuum. But when you have all the cracks, they, do, they don't even work. Yeah, yeah. So when you go up a hill, you don't even get your full power. Yeah. My boot, my boot was all cracked. I replaced I this last year. Yeah. That's okay. brand new last okay. year. So, right. But yeah, the, any hoses that you see well, that I need, need you to tell me. In my younger days, it used to take me 20 minutes to remove this engine. Okay. I've replaced about five clutches on these vehicles. Yeah. With a lion being right there and a warden holding a gun. I'm original from Kenya. Wow. And we used to use these vanagons as uh, yeah. tourist vans. Right. Okay, because the top would open. Yeah, tourists would be able to get oh, all right. the pictures for the sleeve comes with a separate liner. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So like, whereas an engine you get a one block with the four pistons. Yeah. Here, the each liner with the piston comes out separately. Okay. So you can upgrade your engine by getting oversized liners. Yes. Bigger pistons. Okay. Fitting on the same block. Is it a significant power bump to do that? You're gonna get another six hundred cc out of it yeah that's what i was surprised to see you said to uh, go, go from a two, two liter to 2.6 2. that's that's yes. a big jump or 2.5 okay. okay that's the big jump yeah and that gives you a lot more horsepower right you'll, you'll get at but least more heat no more heat okay okay it will run more efficiently oh okay okay because you have more power and you know it's power so, to weight ratio so the heads wouldn't run hotter with there being no. less metal you have to you have to do more uh, you have to, when you do that, you also have to pot your heads. Okay. So you have more intake, more air intake and more fuel. Okay. It comes with a price. Right. So we should price it out both ways, stock versus yes. upgraded? Yeah. Okay. If you ask me, I would go for the upgraded. Okay. okay. I, don't, I don't know what pricing we're talking about yet, but we'll No, we we'll don't, figure I neither do I right now. Okay. Okay, because uh, in the last 20 years, I've done two of these engines. 
All right, so I've left the shop. I just drove to a parking lot here so I could just talk about what we learned and what I've talked about for next steps for the engine. Um, so I didn't record everything we talked about, but just some of that initial conversation about where he's from and what he knows and how he knows how to work on those. Um, he's from Kenya originally, so uh, he's worked on a lot of these vans and engines, these air-cooled engines back in you know Africa. Uh, so he has extensive knowledge working on them. And based on the symptom that he sees so far, he thinks it's either a cooked valve, overheated valve or valve seat, or uh, head studs. And we don't know which one it is until the engine comes out. So I've just authorized him to pull the engine and then I will come back when the engine's out and we can take a look at some of the parts and decide what's actually wrong with the engine and then come up with some options of, uh, of what's the next upgrade steps or fixing steps. So there's gonna be options where I can either keep it the exact same displacement and fix it. There's gonna be options of being able to bore it out possibly to, uh, to a bigger size displacement engine up to around 2.6 liters. Uh, or if something catastrophic is found with that motor, it would be a possibility of having to replace the whole engine, but hopefully it's not that last one. So uh, anyway, just more time. Uh, I got to figure out what's wrong with it. So maybe into next week, end of next week, maybe he'll get that engine pulled out and then we can take a look. It's a fairly small shop. It's a three bay shop and he's busy. So he's got cars all over the place. And I mentioned that I do have this YouTube channel and I'll be shouting him out and stuff. And he's like, well, I usually don't advertise because he can't keep up with the work he has. He uh, He's too busy but he is a European shop. I did not know that. When I looked online for places that know how to work on those old vans, his name did not come up, but he is Volkswagen and Audi certified tech. Uh, he has European car mechanics that work there and that's what he prefers is the European stuff. So if you have an older European vehicle, certainly look him up, Ad Life Services, 3006 St. Laurent Boulevard. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're on here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.